I'm here at Barclays Center and we got It's the Playbook Night on Entrepreneur. We have the top five podcasts on iTunes and going to TV on Fox and NBC and other regional networks. So excited to be here at Barclays, the original implementation of the aggregated marketing platform as well. You know, since basketball is a game where it only takes a basketball and a hoop and those can be put up anywhere. Think about the millions and millions of people that dream about being here and then there's different levels of success and you know, just to make it on a team like this and then to start on a team and then to be an all-star and then to be the MVP of those all-stars or win a championship, you know, it's the same thing in business, you know, it's not so easy, 90 some percent of all businesses fail in the first year. So if you're one of those 10%, then you got to continue to do business, enjoying that pursuit, and only a very, very few get to be those MVP businesses, those unicorns. And you've got to have that persistent, consistent enjoyment and the pursuit of that potential, knowing that you are doing and being your higher self and making a lot of money, helping a lot of people and having a lot of fun. I love being on this basketball court and seeing all the different levels and layers of success. Uh, whether it be players, coaches, doctors, like I said, even our corporate sales guy, Jimmy, that's not an easy job to get. And he started in ticket sales and everybody still just keeps evolving. And someday he might be the general manager of this team, who knows? Everybody thinks that you're born with natural talent. You know, I was fortunate enough to grow up with Tony Gwynn, who taught me to play from the San Diego School of Baseball. And you wouldn't believe how much film, back then VHS and beta, he watched of pitchers and hitters. And here again, these guys played last night, and they're sitting there on the bench, watching film, consistent, persistent enjoyment of the pursuit of their potential. They're at the highest level, and they're still trying to reach and pursue their potential. No matter where you are, that's the enjoyment, the purpose, that you have that will provide inspiration from the beginning to the middle to the end. You know, it's never surprising that these guys are trying to become as prepared as they can, no matter how great they are. In fact, I think the greatest guys are the most prepared. Those are the ones over there, on, you know, watching film. Yeah. So, uh, that's how I kind of. No, but you. It's kind of funny how I'm studying your day. You're the guy who's studying the game. Oh, cool. oh, very nice. Thank you so much. Yeah. Right on. Can you give the game ball at center court? He'll say Dave Melter from Playbook. Here to present tonight's game ball. Nice. What's up, Brooklyn Nets fans, and welcome to Barclays Center. I am Ali Love. And this evening, your Brooklyn Nets take on the Boston Celtics. Tonight's game is presented by David Meltzer's The Playbook, TV show, and podcast. Presenting tonight's game ball is David Meltzer from The Playbook, TV show, and podcast. Welcome, Dave. Take care, my friend. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Happy birthday, dear Dave. Happy birthday to you. Uh, yeah, you don't want me to spin. You don't want me to spin. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Peace. Thank you, everybody. For braving the cold and coming to my first birthday party, I'm a 50. I'm, I don't know if you know, but I'm raising a million dollars for charity, uh, 50 for 50. We're gonna do another birthday party in New York. I know Stephen Costello is gonna host it in Long Island. But I, all your support and friendship means a lot to me, especially my team that comes here. My best friend Warren, he flew overnight yeah. and all this stuff to be here. My cousin and all my close friends, thank you so so much. Yeah, I love dude. you all. Uh, here we are 48, well, actually 50 hours later, left on Friday morning for New York. Through all the snow excuses that people could have made not to make it, we had just an extraordinary two days in New York. Flew into Philly, picked up a Geno steak, took a train into New York, had a good business meeting and dinner with Warren, uh, and then uh, Saturday took care of content and our partnership with Barclays, uh, being honored and promoted with the playbook and 
about 32 of our partners. Uh, the interesting thing to me was number one, when you enjoy what you do, your weekends last so so much longer when you're not dreading going to work on Monday. You you really can stay present and enjoy your weekends and enjoy that pursuit of your potential. Nothing really seems like work or play. It's all just meshed together. Uh, also, the efficiency side. You know, there's a lot going on with travel, and I saw so many people wasting not just hours but days. There's people sleeping at JFK that had been there two days, and meanwhile, we were utilizing being more interested than interesting technology. Our flight was delayed about five hours, and that's why we're getting in here. We would have been home, you know, even in less than 48 hours, uh, but still. Got our sleep, and uh, now I get to have a wonderful day with my family. I, my daughter's going to be going back to college tomorrow. I got 9 a.m. basketball tournament, playoff games. My daughter, goodbye dinner, and uh, we'll look forward to a, a wonderful week here at Sports One Marketing.